The high lift devices consist of four trailing edge flaps, six leading edge Kruger flaps, and eight leading edge slats. Normal power to operate the high lift devices is provided by hydraulic system A. Alternate power is provided by electric motors or the hydraulic standby system. The four trailing edge flaps are connected in pairs, left and right inboard and the left and right outboard. The inboard and outboard pair of flaps are mechanically driven by separate hydraulic motors. Pressurized fluid to the hydraulic motors is controlled by the inboard and outboard flap control valves. The flap lever initiates movement of the trailing edge flaps by controlling the inboard and outboard flap control valves. The flap lever positions are detented at 0, 2, 5, 15, 25, 30, and 40 degrees. In addition to the detents, the flap lever also has two gated positions. A gate at the 2 degree flap lever position is a mandatory in-flight pause to verify proper leading edge device sequencing. The gate at 25 degrees allows for go-around flaps to be selected without looking at the lever. Mechanical follow-up drums monitor flap operation and signals the control valves to close. The leading edge devices are controlled by outboard trailing edge flap position. The outboard trailing edge flap follow-up drum operates the LED hydraulic control valve, which uses system A hydraulic pressure to extend or retract the LEDs. When the outboard trailing edge flaps reach the 2 degree position, the LED control valve operates to extend leading edge slats 2, 3, 6, and 7. When the outboard trailing edge flaps reach the 5 degree position, all remaining leading edge devices extend. This sequence is reversed during flap retraction. Now let's look at the normal operation of the high lift devices. A placard just below the landing gear lever gives limiting air speeds for flap operation. The flap position indicators normally display the inboard and outboard flap positions. Each indicator has range marks that show acceptable flap position with respect to flap lever position. The leading edge flap lights monitor the position of the leading edge flaps. When both lights are extinguished, all LEDs are retracted. Moving the flaps lever to the 2 degrees detent causes the trailing edge flaps to begin movement as indicated on the flaps indicators and the amber leading edge flaps light illuminates indicating the leading edge devices have not yet moved and are in disagreement with flap lever position. When the outboard trailing edge flaps reach 2 degrees, a signal is sent to the control valve for slats 2, 3, 6, and 7 to extend. As the LEDs reach their proper position, the amber leading edge flaps light extinguishes and the green leading edge flaps light illuminates indicating LEDs selected by flap lever are extended. After verifying that all indicators are in agreement and the green leading edge flap light is illuminated, moving the flaps lever to the 5 degree detent initiates movement of the trailing edge flaps. The green leading edge flaps light extinguishes and the amber leading edge flaps light illuminates as all trailing edge flaps drive to 5 degrees. When the trailing edge flaps are at 5 degrees, the remaining slats and Kruger flaps begin to extend. When the devices reach full extension, 
the amber leading edge flaps light extinguishes and the green light illuminates. Flaps may now be lowered to any further position permitted by airspeed. Moving the flaps lever from the 5 degree detent to the 2 degree detent begins retraction. As the flaps move from 5 to 2 degrees, all LEDs except 2, 3, 6, and 7 are retracted. With the flaps at 2 degrees and a green leading edge flaps light illuminated, it is now permitted to bring the flaps to the full up position. Individual green and amber lights are provided to verify the position of the 14 LEDs. When the LED test switch is held in position test, the lights are extinguished when the devices are fully retracted. An illuminated amber light indicates the device is in transit. An illuminated green light indicates the device is extended. Rotating the switch to the light test position illuminates all amber and green leading edge device lights. Now let's look at the high lift abnormals. Should a malfunction occur during either extension or retraction of the LEDs, the amber leading edge flaps light remains illuminated. An abnormal trailing edge flap may be indicated by the flap position indicator needle split, either flap position indicator needle does not agree with the flap lever, or abnormal control inputs after any flap selection. Should the normal operation of the flap system fail, moving the guarded alternate flaps master switch to on arms the inboard and outboard alternate flap switches, starts the electric standby pump, and closes the hydraulic shutoff valves to the inboard and outboard flaps. Holding either the inboard or outboard switch to the down position electrically extends the respective flaps. Releasing the switch stops the flap movement. Placing either switch to the up position retracts the respective set of flaps. The switch stays in the up position until moved to off. During alternate flap operation, the flap lever has no function other than to provide an electrical input into the LED indicating system. Should the normal operation of the LEDs fail, moving the alternate flaps master switch to on turns on the standby hydraulic pump and closes the LED A system hydraulic shutoff valve. Holding either the inboard or outboard switch to the down position randomly extends the LEDs using standby hydraulics. Once extended, the LEDs cannot be retracted.